Army Recognition Group is in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, to cover the International Defense Show, NAVDEX and IDEX 2021. As official online show daily news and web TV, we will cover the show with the latest innovation and technology of defense, and also video coverage. One of the largest defense companies at IDEX 2021 is EDGE, an association of different companies of defense from UAE. We developed a full range of different capabilities in defense product and security product, including drones, also combat vehicles, missile system, and air defense system. My name is Pan Tian Tsong. I'm from the ALIS, which is belonging to the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. Uh, because for us, uh, the ADEX is a very important expansion show, and the UAV is a very important market for us, also, no matter in the Middle East or all over the world. At this time, we have four different product and weapon systems, and which from the air defense weapon system, ground-to-ground -ground weapon system, also including the multiple rocket system, and also the UV series and the precision guide bonds and other type of the air-to-ground missiles. Uh, for us, the Middle East is a very important and a very key uh, area for us. The another thing is the UAE is probably the, mar the, the, the biggest market for the, in, the, in this area and also it's very important for us because it's for us a good opportunity no matter just to show with the local people also with the all around the world. Yes, this time so, uh, one of our, our products is, is that we call it Sage 5. Sage 5 is the uh, long endurance and advanced UAV systems and it's able to uh, have the capability of the reconnaissance and the strike and uh, also the digital mapping and the uh, communication relay. And it have the uh, very high uh, flight altitude and also it can able to carry different payload or uh, different missiles to perform different missions. This is one of our star products. Hello, welcome to Sanax Boots. So my name is Yasin Balit. I'm the head of business and development of Sanax. So Sanax is a company uh, specialized in data visualization. By data visualization, I mean uh, AI. So we developed our first uh, AI software here in UAE, in Dubai. So we implement the AI into this drone that you can see here called Finder. So this is the first drone uh, certified by the UN EMAS that can detect any kind of landmine. So the drone is flying one meter, 0.5 above the floor and can detect any kind of landmine two meter inside the ground. The visual and thermal camera on the front is for uh, trip wires or any IEDs that are on the surface uh, and the GPR is mostly for buried landmines. And our use case, we envision to use this for convoy protection, uh, for reducing uh, boots on the ground for personnel. Uh, it makes the whole process much more safer and much more efficient due to the AI. This is all ready for production. Uh, we had the certification done in two locations, over here in the UAE and uh, also in Kosovo. Uh, the ideology being that uh, these are very harsh environments for uh, 
delicate things like propellers or uh, the heat of the system. Since the UAE, we have uh, a high temperature environment. We want our system to be certified and be able to work uh, in these uh, temperatures. And therefore, uh, that gives us confidence in the system overall. The drone uh, is 90 kilos and uh, it can carry uh, about 60 kilograms of uh, any payload that you attach to it. So uh, flight time for this is uh, one hour. Keep in mind we fly very low, very slow, uh, 1.5 meters above the ground. So the distance from the bottom of the GPR to the ground is about 30 centimeters and therefore we have an area scan so it goes very slow and um, that is to increase our probability of detection of the landmines. Uh, my name is Ruben Silvano Casilli. I work in Iveco Defense Vehicles since seven years now, and I am the head of the Proposal Management and Sales Engineering Department, so in charge to prepare uh, the technical answers uh, for uh, all the ranges uh, all over the world. I think uh, that these two vehicles are representative of uh, Iveco Defense Vehicles uh, range in the multi-roll and armored uh, vehicles. As, um, Everybody almost knows in this uh, sector that um, Iveco Defense Vehicle, together with BA Systems, uh, have been awarded a very important contract with the US Marine Corps uh, for 8x8 vehicles, amphibious vehicles, that are really state of the art. And uh, uh, we decided that using that platform as a basis, we could arrive a family of other vehicles. Uh, and this is the first, uh, I would say, brother of the amphibious combat vehicle, which is intended for the land roles. Uh, so infantry fighting vehicles, uh, uh, armored recovery vehicles, uh, troop transport and combat vehicles. So these vehicles share uh, with the amphibious combat vehicles the driveline and other technical components like the engine and the transmission, the cooling package, the geometry for the built-in protection of the vehicle, but it's a completely land vehicle. So we get rid of the, the propellers, the trim vane, the snorkel, all the other parts that are specific for the mission. We saved payload and we use that payload for the troops and for additional protection. So this is the idea behind this, uh, this vehicle. This makes this vehicle a state-of-art vehicle in the Armored 8x8 uh, uh, arena for the, for the land troops, I think. We are specialized in the vehicular platform. This is our DNA. We have system integration capability, but our focus is vertical integration of the vehicle parts. So we designed this vehicle to be ready to be fitted with uh, uh, mission system supplied by third parties like command and control system, radio equipment, even weapon system, remote weapon system, small, medium caliber, missile launcher. So the vehicle has a digital architecture with standard interface ready to be integrated with these mission systems that are typically chosen by the customer. So in this we are really flexible to integrate solution produced by the uh, companies, defense companies in the Emirates, that they are growing a lot uh, in uh, this kind of uh, capability. What we are seeing now in the market since uh, a few years uh, is the need for more payload, more protection, more volume for the soldier but also for the mission equipment. That's why we decided to develop a new range of vehicle, designed not as a product but as a range, a family of vehicle. And we were, uh, let me say, lucky enough to be chosen by the Netherlands Armed Forces for the largest program in Europe for the acquisition of multi-role vehicles. Hi, my name is Amir Dean. I'm representing Emirates Special Vehicles uh, from UAE. Uh, we have a stand here at the Hall 7 uh, A18 and we are exhibiting three vehicles. One is uh, Toyota Land Cruiser 6x6, another one is Armored Lexus, uh, another one is our Armored Personal Carrier Titanium Falcon. Well, this is the first day. Uh, we received a lot of visitors showing interest in our products. We gave them demos. Yeah, we look forward to seeing more people in the coming days.
Uh, we have good demand uh, for our products in um, Middle East and parts of Africa. Uh, we also supply our vehicles to Far East, uh, like Philippines. We do, we, we have our uh, dedicated research and development department pour into product launches every year. We recently launched uh, one uh, MRAP on Evico chassis. I am Vadim Nazria, the Director General of State Company Ukar Spitsexport of Ukraine. Sir, we are a traditional participant in IDEX and this year we are happy to be here. Ukar Spitsexport and State Concern Ukar Abron Prom. We, are, we brought together all the Ukrainian manufacturers, producers, exporters of the special military dual use goods. So this is a joint expo of a joint stall of Ukraine. So we are here, we are offering our best samples of the state-of-the-art weapon system, high-precision weapon system, armored vehicles. Traditionally, all the items that we are strong, that we are competitive, and we have got a lot of ambitious plan for this expo today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. We are planning to sign a few deals, uh, actually several deals with our strategic partners. And um, there are already ongoing official delegations, joint meetings, and this is very promising and uh, we have a lot of expectation of this IDEX. So we already enjoy a lot of collaboration with the United Arab Emirates, with the state, with the consortium of H, with other customers at Emirates. We have just uh, finished uh, our meeting with the official delegation of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and other countries. We have signed already a deal for the, let's say, this is the next chapter of our relations with, uh, with the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Ukraine is maintaining and servicing the fleet of T-80 UD tanks. We are supplying traditionally our best technologies in power packs. This is 60D2 family engines, the spares and uh, other systems.